I was a poll challenger at the TCF Center on Monday, November 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. On November 4th, early in the morning, I was standing at the adjudication table, and a ballot came across the screen. The ballot had a straight party ticket vote for both the Democrat and the Republican. It was a filled-in circle, which is an intentional mark. It's not a dash. It's not a dot. When the ballot came across the screen, there was no other marks. None of the judges and none of the other ballot proposals had been voted on. The poll worker then said, I think I'm going to give it to the Democrats. That's absolutely absurd. That is illegal. The vote should have been tossed out. At that moment, I said, absolutely not. I'm going to challenge this. So I go get her supervisor. And then her supervisor defers to her and says, well, what do you think? And I'm like, well, what do you think? It doesn't matter what you think. It's the law. Our feelings, our emotions, our thoughts are totally irrelevant. You follow the law. And that ballot is to be tossed out. But she wanted to give it to the Democrats. So then I go get the gentleman who was overseeing the entire absentee ballot counting process while Daniel Baxter was gone. So this gentleman's name I do not know. I go get him. He's overseeing the entire process while Daniel Baxter is gone. I ask him. He says to the girl, what do you think? It was disgusting. I was enraged. And I simply asked a question. I said, well, why not give it to the Republicans instead of the Democrats? The gentleman began screaming at me, began yelling at me, began telling me that I had no right to talk to her, and he told her to push the ballot through. And prior to that, that same poll worker, a ballot came across the adjudication screen where this b voter had voted for Joe Biden and the Green Party presidential candidate, and she gave the vote to Joe Biden. I also saw the ballot show up in the middle of the night. Also, I inquired about the tabulation numbers from the tabulation machine between shift changes. I was denied that information. We saw a lot of irregular things. This is not an anomaly. Just because all of us have different accounts of what we saw, that doesn't make them invalid. And to expect Secretary Benson to actually do something about it is foolhardy. To accept, uh, to accept Dan and Essel to do anything about it would be foolhardy. So we're appealing to you guys to do something about it. Because if our elections aren't fair, then we have no republic left. It's a banana republic. We have nothing. And, and we don't trust the election process. Why do you think a lot of people don't vote? 